Comics International was a British news and reviews magazine about comic books. Founded in 1990, it was published monthly by Quality Communications until 2006. At the time of its demise in 2010, it was published by Cosmic Publications Limited. Topic Overview. Described in Time Out as the NME of comics, Comics International provided up-to-date news and reviews of comics from around the world. There was a particular focus upon British comics, and British comic creators, with the magazine also featuring details of British retail shops and conventions, or events related to comics. Comics International became quite popular, often outselling the very comics it covered. Being so comprehensive in content, Comics International was carried by many leading UK reference libraries. Originally printed in black and white on newsprint, the magazine later featured full-colour glossy covers, as well as colour pages internally. The magazine included up-to-date reviews, as well as having a lively letters page. There was also a question and answers section for readers' questions to be answered by comics experts. History The magazine was published and edited by Quality Communications owner Des Skin for its first 200 issues, from 1990 to 2006. Skin's Says Des column appeared in each issue during this time. Following Skin stepping down, with the publication of issue number 201, the magazine's ex news editor Mike Conroy became the editor. Conroy had taken over the main news section of the magazine in 1997 from Phil Hall. Conroy announced a new direction for the magazine under his editorship. After the editorial changeover, Peter brought the name Comics International in 1997 and dissolved the company in 2010 however, the magazine's frequency became increasingly sporadic, casting doubt on its long-term future under the new editorial team. In May 2010, Cosmic Publications was dissolved, thus confirming that Comics International had ended, after publishing only eight regular issues and a few specials under its new regime. Topic regular features In addition to Des Skin's own editorial column, Comics International's main features included, Talking Shop, a column about British comics retailing by Stephen Holland, owner of Page 45. It's Only a Comic, a humorous column from the creator's side by Tony Lee. Novel Graphics, written by Paul Gravitt, dealt with graphic novels, this column originally started appearing in the comics magazine Borderline. Networks, compiled by Tim Pilcher, deals with internet comics gossip. Pilcher went on to become associate editor on the magazine. Illuminations, written by Martin Avare, deals with upcoming news of future comic releases. Movers and Shakers, which was the comics industry's first ever gossip and marketing column and was voted the most popular column in the magazine in a poll conducted in 1997. The column was created by former Comics International News and features editor Phil Hall. Hot Shots, a top 10 picks column, written by Phil Hall originally, and later by Martin Avare. Frame to Frame, a look at the comics industry in film by Mike Conroy The World of Jack Staff a serialized comic strip, written and drawn by Paul Grist. Comic Cuts, by Mike Kazibrid, a three-panel gag strip outside the frame, by John Freeman, Nick Miller, a three-panel gag strip in addition, there was a lengthy review section by a regular team of over 20 reviewers, a festival's calendar, and listings of UK comics specialty stores, mailorder companies, and the following month's UK and US releases. Notes External links Comics International at Des Skin website Comics International Forum at DownTubes <laughs>